tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Um, I didn't start as a dancer talaga. Um, well, my family, their background kasi, they're really more on music. Um, yung mom ko and my dad, they sing. My brother mm. sings away. I mean, he's, he's really good. And then, so from there, I inspired ako sa kanila. So I was singing from, you know, the start. I was really into music. And then, how I got into dancing kasi, um, there were times sa school na they would ask for... What school? Um, Sorry. Uh, I studied in Baguio. So I was... I was Baguio, really okay. Yeah. A Baguio so, boy, resident from yeah. Baguio. <laughs> so, um, yeah, shout out to the people from Baguio. But, shout um, out to Baguio! <laughs> yeah, Baguio. Um, so when it comes to like how I started, parang people kasi were looking for um, volunteers from time to time. Yung mag-lead ng mga exercise. Parang, oh, yeah. we need a volunteer, ganun. Sino may gusto mag-lead ng exercise? And I was usually, I, I was pretty game for it every time. Like, I would just raise my hand and Sure, I was the dude there na I didn't really put effort into it. Parang, okay, sige, sayo lang. And then later on, nung nag high school na ako, um, they did the same thing. They were looking for volunteers for a parang inter school competition. And I said, you know what? I'm down to try it. Parang ganon. And then yeah. from there, when I learned na meron yung, yung competitive side ng dancing, yeah. I got really hooked. Na parang, you know, I want to compete. I want to, you know, develop myself in this craft. I want to learn more about it. And at the same time, I want to share to people how yeah. fun dance is, you know. Good, good. Yeah. Oh, the thing that I want to highlight is you know, when it comes to just expressing myself, it's really, it's really like a way for me to tell stories when I can't really verbalize it. But hindi ko siya masabi. I use That's it for deep. Me. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, the, you know the best thing about ano pa, The best thing about dance is the thing that ho- that got me hooked talaga was the community. Parang ah, okay. at that time when I was in Baguio, parang the dance community was really really open to parang accepting parang beginners. They were saying, "No, you can practice here. You can learn with us." We actually had a space pang sa Baguio na parang all the dancers go there it's called the convention center and people go there oh, yeah. and then they learn all together and i think yun yung nam nam miss right now sa bagyo na you know their community is really really tight yeah it is. so uh, it was one of the best things that i can say for this one it's with how i could you know relate to some songs because i mean it's all about expressing whenever we dance but yeah. there are times na you want to turn it into art and you want to showcase it to people. Parang, other than just expressing yourself, there's also a part of me that wants to share it with others. So yeah. whenever I dance, parang they, they get a glimpse of what I have, what I have going in my head. And it's the same thing with others. Whenever I watch them dance, I always get mesmerized by the idea now. Yo, he's, he or she's sharing like a, like a special part of them with just like me. Yeah. You know, that's what um, I wanted to do. That's yes, interesting. I, I'm still baffled by the idea. Na parang, hey, parang I get I get to I'm parang, I'm blessed and I'm lucky enough to be you know roaming around and teaching them dance. But in my head, parang ang main priority ko lagi whenever I do teach is that I want to share this journey of mine to others to inspire them. Because yeah, I always think to myself na at that time when I started dancing, parang Wala pang social media. Um, I uh-huh. really had. Parang there were times that I really had to choose specific classes para ma build yung choreography ko or yung style ko. So now I just want to share that knowledge with the next generation for you know, next generation of dancers para they can have it easier now, di ba? Yeah. Parang you know, I can yeah. give help to them. So that's yeah. really what I'm doing right now. I really want to just help that's the community. That's great, Kev. That's great for artwork and then for. Um, the previous team called Genuine. Uh, we participated in Hip Hop International. So it was for one was for the Mega Crew division. So that's like forty members, and then a uh, twenty to forty members, and then the other one, man, is for the Varsity division. So I basically coached the team that joined there, and then for rookies, man, uh, we were able to join the World Supremacy Battleground. So we we placed fifth out of. I'm not sure if it's 120 or 115 teams. So we were qualified to represent the Philippines, uh, Australia. Oh, at that wow. Time. But, Did you, get you know, to go? Um, we didn't, we weren't able to go at that time. We weren't able to go straight to Australia. Say, um, 
at that time one of our sponsors had like um parang his wife got ill like really ill so ah, we opted na it's okay parang yeah. we can eat sometime it's okay nang mag-focus dun sa health ng sponsor namin so yeah uh, it was it was parang sad but at the same time at least we were able to help yeah. ng sponsor namin yeah yeah of course uh, like about, you really built a relationship with the people you've taught no and the people you've encountered through the sports like yeah I really yeah. wanted you, to build something like that. Na parang it's really more. Parang we could talk about dance in a business way, but we're also friends. Because I, I take yeah. inspiration from them. Eh, yung ano yung art na they release nila. I, I get I get some from it, and yeah, I'm thankful to have them as my connection as my friends. Yeah. Shout out to them. Hopefully they're yeah, watching. And that's as real as it gets, diba? Parang whenever I make mistakes, at least I can share people na hey, you know what? It's okay to make mistakes. Yes. Yes. Thanks for that, Kyle. How about I ano? To I, anyone that's you know striving towards a dream, is that you should listen to that dream. You should listen to that voice, even you know years after the journey. You should still go back to it. Because for me, there were times where I felt you know there were times that I would wake up in the morning and I would say you know I you know what I don't want to dance today. You know what I don't want to. I don't feel like yeah. moving. And you know what? It's okay to feel that. And what I do is I always go back to you, you know, the day I started dancing. But why, why did I want to do this in the first place? I need goal go. And then from there, I just get flashbacks of how fun it felt, you know, to just, to just dance and to be with the community. And I also think na, you know, if I'm struggling, parang what more yung iba. So I'd rather be the light for the others who are struggling. So yeah. I'm just, um, you know, just to help them out yes. and yeah, just focus on your. Passion and then uh, focus on your ano din, your purpose. So purpose yeah. and passion, and then from there, I think you can do it, man. Yeah, thanks for that. I think that's really, best depict. It's really hard to avoid dancing then for me because whenever I put the earphones, you know, whenever I play music, I just dance. Even my office mates know, like they know na pagkakait na sa mitio and then marang ay sorry if I'm in the office and then nag earphones. In a meeting, ako. wow. Yeah, not that in a meeting. I mean, um, whenever I just put them on, parang na papa move ako kait na sa ano, even if it's in a jeepney or whatnot, parang I just start dancing. So for me, um. I, it's hard to get, you know, para it's uh, para I'm always attached to it just because yeah. music is really connected to it. I just really, you know, I I don't stop moving whenever I hear music. And are you yeah, ever tired? I do get tired. I, mm-hmm. I I I do get, you know, a little sore every now and then. Conrari, I focus on footwork and then yeah. my legs don't really wanna cooperate. Now, but whenever I hear a good song. I can't really stop myself from dancing it. So, yes. yeah. Well, what's your playlist like? What What are me, I good? Think it's the concept of never stopping with the you know the learning and you know just being like an open book every time. Because yeah. um, whenever you compete, there are always there's always gonna be like a time where so, a team is gonna be better say you or there's a choreographer that's gonna be better. I mean that's great. I mean. What matters is what you do after that, you know, yeah. how you build yourself, how how you condition yourself on how to, you know, be a better competitor the next time. And it also applies to, you know, just being a solo choreographer. Uh, there are a lot of people right now in the dance community in the Philippines are really focused on being a solo choreographer. And then I think that's really great because, you know, you, you, can, you can really like, Communicate with yourself. Mas magigets me sa really mo once you already know your style, once you know how to like piece the steps together. And I think with learning, kasi once you acknowledge the fact na madami ka pang pwedeng aralin, it's something that you bring into you know factors outside of dance or segments. Like for work, parang whenever someone teaches me a new parang procedure, it's stressful. Yeah, para yeah, it's stressful. Pero at the end of the day, pag kanat kunan mo nasa, it's something that parang master, yeah, masterable. Yeah, man. You, can, you get master it. You can master it. Na. And then the best thing about it, pa, is the fact that when you teach it to someone else, and when you teach it, parang you really want to teach it in a better way. Na parang kung I mean kung nadalian ka kung paano ka tinuruan, you teach it in an easier way, de ba? So it's just like you know giving parang giving the giving it forward, parang ganon, parang in a way. It's like if they taught you well, you can also teach someone, you know, better. Parang ganon. So yeah, yeah 
Yeah. I think you said it super well na parang like when someone feels shamper when you start something, especially in sports, when you start something you're not going to be good right away. You're yeah. you're gonna have, there's going to be someone that's better than you or mm-hmm. parang especially with social media now, what you're going to see there will be times that you're going to be like, ah, am I capable for this? But I think what you said, na like the ability to always let yourself learn and keep an open mind and persistence to your goal. I think that was well said. Thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah. Going to the dance community, naman, Kyle, how would you evaluate the local dance scene here in the Philippines um, in general? Parang... Do we have what it takes to like compete in the big stage and big stage meaning globally? Like, can we stand out? Yeah, I, well, to be honest, the community has been um, competing now worldwide, and I think the the Philippines is really packed with amazing choreographers. But I do want to note that while we have like amazing choreographers and dancers here, there are also parang the same quality of choreographers and dancers even in areas that are outside of the metro so kasi yeah. there are times kasi na whenever they're part of like a farther area parang it's harder for them to you know parang join the community sa, sa center kasi you know they have to worry about travel expenses they have to think yeah. about you know, kasi yung job opportunities then it's really not the same yeah. but when you look at their craft they're really on the same level so like uh I just want to note that the the community for the Philippines as a whole is amazing, but there are also you know amazing choreographers that are aren't, parang known yet publicly. But I'm excited for them because you know I know a lot of choreographers. You're, yourself. Are, You're a choreographer yourself, so thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, whenever I look back, I'm not doing it for myself, na, eh. you know. I'm yeah. doing it for the next generation of dancers, na parang, you know what I want them to, you know, to somehow get inspired by what I do kahit onti lang sila, kahit isa lang yan parang I'm willing to do it all over again you know yes so that's really nice so, funny to parang nakakatawa siya pakinggan but it works Um, you can work on the parang minutes in between the tasks that you're doing so when I say this um, I at the example kayo meron time kasi when I moved to Makati na <clears throat> Parang when I was really focused on work lang, I had no time to dance. But in between, whenever I commute, pag naglalakad ako, my hands are moving. Like, nagagadan sila. Parang I'm trying to develop new coordination skills whenever I'm walking. So I'm trying to, and then pag kunwari, nakasakay ako sa MRT, my feet are moving. I'm trying to figure out, you know, new footwork, combo. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm I'm trying to, I try to find small, you know, kahit, kahit onting time lang yan. I try to do something productive in between those. So yeah, parang just manage your time well. Yung sa pangalawa naman, um, if you're really packed with work and you still want to dance, <clears throat> I think um, the best tip that I could give to you is that you can just, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever you take that rest day, parang you could always, you can explore and try to, you know, invest in doing classes at that time because i know it's supposed to be your rest parang dun ka magpapahinga. but you know you never know maybe dance might be your rest diba? you might be able to let off all that stress when you dance because i know people there are people na nag nag zumba sila whenever they're tired so zumba is tiring pero pag nalaka zumba sila parang they're refreshed na yeah it's the same with dance eh. so once you let out all those bad you know bad vibes parang yeah, so try to sacrifice a few minutes, or if not a few minutes, maybe a day, to just dance. And if yeah. you feel like kaya nung schedule na yun, yeah, you can work from there. Yes. How about for the youth, naman kal, outside of dancing mm-hmm. or they're willing na they're willing to help you in terms of like growing that shine in you. Parang they're yes. they're willing to invest in you then as a student. So if anything's holding you back. Mention it, tell it to people that can help you. But in terms of like your personal drive, nyo, don't be afraid to dive into the culture or dive into a specific style. Because we're gonna be there to help you. I promise you. Young generation, namin, we're gonna be helping you. you know, so exploring. Because that... you know there are instances where these, parang yung mga passion nato, they come to us. Parang yeah. you know, parang 
out of nowhere, parang you just start dancing. But there are also times na you don't know that you're good. Parang you don't know that you love dance, but you haven't and you haven't tried it. So I think whenever you step outside of that, yung comfort zone mo, you get introduced to newer things that you know yeah. might take your breath away, di ba? Some yeah. time to time they might not. So I think if ever I'll. Uh, The only thing I want to say is just like be open to like trying out new things. Because I didn't start dancing because I knew I was a dancer. I just tried it because we don't have volunteers in exercise. Namin eh. So you know, if I, I if that's like a risk that you could you know give as an example, I think you could also do that with other genres. Like if you're if you if you're interested in music and Parang a friend offers you, hey, you might want to learn how to, to produce music. Try it, de diba? Parang if it's if it's there, the opportunities are there, naman for you to take. And yeah, just don't be afraid to put yourself out there to test yourself, and don't be afraid to fail or to mess up. Because yeah, you're gonna love it in the end. Eh. Yeah, I think that's really that's well said, Kyle. It's really about. Like you really never know until um, bring him to the show this season because he's really the embodiment or he teaches us that talent isn't something that you develop in a day. For Kyle, the dancer choreographer, it took him years, like what he mentioned, to come full circle and turn his dreams into reality. It through his mindset of always wanting to learn and get better at his craft. The importance of persistence and determination. Kyle was able to make his young self really proud. So look how happy he is now, and how he's just on Instagram, like putting out videos and like what he said, the importance of passing it to the next generation. I guess that's what sports does best as well. It teaches you the importance of and the value of reaching for your dreams, and ultimately. Um, you turning your dreams into reality and becoming a star, st- star out there like Kyle. So there you have it. Once again, this is your sports girl. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.